Good morning, Sploot Nation. Thank you guys for coming in. Manic Monday, girl. Thank you so much for the lurk. Very much appreciate you coming down. So we are doing our NFL picks for week seven on the Puff Pass and Kick show. Unfortunately, Sino can't make it in today. So I will be riding solo. I have reached out to some Canadian brown dude. So uh, if we hear from him, we'll get him in on a call, hopefully. But other than that, we'll uh, we'll get back to talking some football. Last week was a little bit of a debacle. Let me get on to my pages here. So as far as the games went last week, it wasn't too bad. But uh, yeah, there was definitely some that uh, we didn't see happening. Uh, I know the picks were kind of all over the place for all of us, but uh, hopefully when C-Note comes back, we'll figure out how we did this last week. Uh, I'm sure I was close to 500, but yeah, it was, uh, you know, not the greatest, not the greatest. But, uh, you know, that's the NFL. It's not always what you think it's going to be. So we'll start off with the first upset. I know I've taken the uh, 49ers in this, and the 49ers did have a great uh, week this week. They ended up getting... Uh, um, Christian McCaffrey so that is going to be a huge addition to their team unfortunately uh, they play the Kansas City Chiefs this week so I hope being that he doesn't have too many uh, plays in the playbook yet I can't imagine I'm sure they've got a couple red zone packages for him uh, CMC can kind of just take the ball and do what he wants with it but that is uh, a huge boost to the Niners in the NFC West um, you know, uh, I actually thought the Rams were going to go in on, uh, on McCaffrey. Uh, I guess they were in it at the end, but 49ers ended up winning that. So, uh, uh, 49ers are, I think now the new heavy, heavy favorite in the NFC West there, but they dropped this game to the Falcons. So 28 to 14, uh, they were visiting Arthur Smith and his Falcons. Let's see what they did here. I didn't catch too much of this game. Hello? You're not going to give me any stats for the game either? Well, that's just awesome. We're off to a great start already here. Oh, here we go. Nope. Doesn't want to show me. Alright, let's see if Bleacher Report will help me out. Oh, I won't go back to it last week. <laughs> of course not. Alright, so not quite sure why it's doing that to me. But uh, either way, I didn't catch too much of that game. Uh, I know Brandon Ayuk had a had a pretty decent game. I had him in fantasy football. Uh, actually, I have Jimmy G too. So let's see what Jimmy G did. Maybe this will work on my phone. Because clearly my browser does not want to work. So what did we have last week? Scores from week seven. We gotta go back to week six. Has anybody tried this NFL Plus yet? If you have, let me know. I'm kind of curious about it. I just don't know if it's worth the money. All right, so. Nice if I can just get individual highlights. Here we go. All right, so what did we have? I'm just giving me injury reports. <laughs> Anyways, the Atlanta Falcons won 28-14. Sorry, everybody. I don't know why my browser doesn't want to pull up any of the game stats. It's doing the same on uh, on my phone here. But uh, we'll move on to the next game. That was a game uh, I'm definitely positive that I bet on uh, the Niners, though. 49ers, you know, they're they're up and down. Hopefully the, the addition of CMC gets them going. Um, but like I said, I'm not thrilled that I have him this week, but I'm glad I at least got him on a week that he likely doesn't have too many packages in the offense. Falcons aren't bad. Um, I've been, I'm not sold on them yet, but, uh, the Falcons are a lot better than they used to be. I think once Desmond Ritter gets going, uh, Marcus Mariota had a day though. I do remember that. Um, I don't want to say that he was close to 300 yards, but, uh, but he might have been. I just want to see if I can go back. No, see, the problem with Bleach Report is it won't let me go back. 
But we'll move on to another game. I thought the Browns would have won this game. Patriots ended up winning 38-15. to uh, Patriots moved to 3-3, three and three, Browns to 2-4. and four. Uh, The AFC North is still up for grabs. Uh, you know, the Ravens keep losing just weird fucking games uh, and doing it last minute too. So hopefully that'll pick up uh, for them. But let's take a look. Maybe this one will load up for me. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to try closing my browser and bringing it back up. Hopefully that'll help. All right, so we'll go back to week six. Give me some details. Please, 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 please. Oh, is that ever annoying? I hate it when it does this shit to me. Well, I guess that's just the way it's going to be today. We'll try to go with uh, with anything I can find on my phone, but I'm not quite sure why it's doing that to me. Uh, I know they had... Uh, Bailey Zappi had a hell of a game. That's all I know. Hang on here. I want to see if I can find some actual stats. It's kind of annoying that it won't, uh, won't pull up for me. So Patriots win 38 to 15. Meep the bunny. Welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, it keeps disappearing on me, which is really annoying. But uh, I know last week Bailey Zappi had, uh, he had a hell of a week because I know a lot of the talk right now is that uh, Mac Jones is coming back. Um, but they are deciding whether or not to start him. I know Bill Belichick says that he is the starter, but with Bailey Zappi playing as lights out as he's been playing, um, I think it's kind of difficult to go right back to Mac Jones. Like, I think you'd have to ride the hot hand, uh, especially in the AFC East right now. Um, you know, with Tua coming back to the Dolphins, uh, Bills are just dominating. Uh, you know, New England's got to keep pace. But if Bailey Zappi's having these kind of games, then you kind of got to ride with him. Well, hopefully. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get any from Home Depot, so it'll hopefully be for next year because, uh, yeah, by the time we went to order, they were all sold out. But we were definitely looking forward to the uh, to the 12-foot skeleton. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be snowing here later. we got a thunderstorm that's supposed to be turning into snow. But hopefully uh, it won't be too bad here. Hang on. Let me see if I can pull up last week numbers. Here we go. Nice. All right. So Bailey Zappi went 24 for 34, 309 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Uh, they had a game. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson went for two touchdowns. Uh, Thornton had a touchdown. They ran all over the Cleveland Browns last week. Um you know, I don't know what's going on in Cleveland, but uh, it hasn't been. Uh, I, I figured that they would have been at about 500, but I didn't think that they'd lose these last two games here. Uh, hopefully, um, something happens. But like I said, the AFC North right now is just so up in the air. Like, I think if Pittsburgh can actually put a couple games together, uh, you know, they'd be in a decent position for a wild card spot. But uh, with uh, the Browns. And the well, even the Bengals. The Bengals, I think, are three and three as well now. But you know, nothing crazy out of that division. I thought we all thought I think it was going to be a little better. But uh, let's talk about something else that's weird. Uh, the Jets beat the Packers. I know last week I was talking about Aaron Rodgers. Um, you know, he doesn't lose often at Lambeau, but they just got absolutely shit kicked last week by the Jets. I don't know why I keep clicking on it as though my stats are going to stay loaded. So we'll go off my phone for now. 
As annoying as that is. All right, so Jets at Packers. All right, so Zach Wilson didn't do anything crazy. Zach Wilson was 10 for 18, 110 yards, but Brees Hall ran 20 times for 116 yards, one touchdown. Braxton Berrios had a, had a rushing touchdown as well. Um, you know, they're clicking. The Jets' defense is clicking. I don't think the Packers are... I don't I don't want to say they're in trouble. I don't think they're in trouble, but they, they're definitely feeling the loss of Devontae Adams, like uh, trading him off. You know, didn't really give you much left uh, to throw to. Like, you've got, I know you picked up, you know, Sammy Watkins is good. We had him on the Chiefs for a while. I got nothing against him. He's coming off IR, probably questionable for today. Randall Cobb is hurt. He's going on to IR. MVS left. He's with the Chiefs now as well. So you kind of depleted your entire receiving core. Um, you added some in the draft, but they're not where they need to be yet. They're still young. We're at week seven, it'll probably take them a season to get fully acclimated. But um, but we'll see what happens with the Packers. Canadian, welcome in. I know uh, McCaffrey going to the Niners. I didn't see that happening. Apparently, the Rams were the other team at the end of the uh, at the end of the line there. But uh, yeah, no. That makes the Niners uh, a pretty big contender now. And I know, like, you know, they didn't get rid of Jimmy G. That was good luck. But they got CMC, too. So now you've got Debo Samuel. You've got Christian McCaffrey. Uh, Brandon Ayuk. You've got George Kittle. Um, your defense is coming back. Nick Bose is back this week. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a little worried of playing the Niners this week. I'm not going to lie to you, pal. Really not going to lie to you. But welcome in. Thanks, everybody, for coming in and stopping by. Unfortunately, my browser doesn't want to give me any stats, so I'm working off my phone. Uh, we're talking about the Jets destroying the Green Bay Packers last week right now. So the Packers, Aaron Rodgers was 26 for 41, 246 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. But the run game was non-existent. A.J. Dillon, 10 carries for 41 yards. Aaron Jones, 9 for 19. Um, and we're talking about the premier backfield in the NFL, um, and, uh, well, before this trade, but, uh, yeah, like, that, that Jets defense is just, they're making plays, they're making it happen, Sauce Gardner came out, he took the cheese head, uh, he ran with it, it was definitely a hell of a week, uh, you know, I'm almost kind of glad, you know, it's not here to let us know our scores, but I'm, 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 I'm assuming we were close to 500, but even that Niners game, like the upsets were just ridiculous. But we'll power through this. But uh, as I keep clicking everything other than what I need to click, Jaguars at Colts. Um, I don't know. I think we took the Jags, but uh, this wasn't a terrible game. It wasn't a great game, and I'm going to click it again as though my stats are going to stay loaded and not just disappear on me. But we'll pull this up on my phone here. Uh, I don't think Matt... I can't remember. I don't think Matt Ryan had a super crazy day, but it was um, it was a good game. So Trevor Lawrence, anyways, went 20 for 22, um, 163 yards. He got sacked four times, but uh, everyone was running the ball. Travis Etienne had 86 yards on the ground. Hasty had 57. Robinson, 54. Trevor Lawrence even had two rushing touchdowns for 23 yards. So the Indies, Indies run defense is super suspect right now. Like I said, there wasn't anything crazy through the air. They had one passing touchdown to Christian Kirk. Um, as far as the Colts day, oh, Matt Ryan did have a day. Matt Ryan went 42 for 58, 389. He had three touchdowns. He took zero sacks. Um, but yeah, it was just... it. I don't know what's up with the Colts. Now they're going through the air. Pittman had 13 receptions on 16 targets for 134 yards. Uh, Jackson went 10 for 10 for 79 yards. Parrish Campbell uh, had 57 yards with a touchdown. Pierce, three or, uh, 49 yards for a touchdown. So they lit it up. So right now, I think the Colts are hitting their stride. They finally figured it out. Now that they've got Pittman back, I think it opens up. Uh, with the running game, they do get Jonathan Taylor back this week, from what I uh, from what I've heard. 
So, um, you know, you're, you're getting back to where you need to be, but they need to start winning these games, uh, especially in the division, because I think they dropped a couple already. Uh, well, they tied Houston and they lost to the Jags earlier in the season. So it's a good thing they came up with this, but, uh, hang on here. Sorry. Why does my screen keep going black? Sorry, everybody. Give me a minute. Hang on. Sorry, uh, but give me uh, two seconds. I actually think the game of the week is going to be the uh, the Niners and Chiefs game. That's going to show some. Why is my screen not showing up? There we go. Oh, I am so done with Streamlabs. It is just driving me insane. But we'll move on to... Uh, we'll just power through the rest of this, I guess. Um, Vikings beat the Dolphins 24 to 16. Um, there wasn't much going on for the Dolphins. I think without two of their, 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 they're in trouble. Two is supposed to be back this week. Uh, Vikings are doing just enough to win. Uh, five and one, I think is a better number than what the Vikings actually are. Yeah, I, I, we got OBS downloaded. I'm switching over. I can't deal with Streamlabs anymore. We have had too many problems. It's just not worth uh, me keep banging my head against the wall for. Um, but the Vikings, I don't know. I, I Kirk Cousins is Kirk Cousins. I think they're a good team. I don't think that... Uh, I think 5-1 and one has been uh, kind of a lucky start. Uh, but they'll likely make the playoffs. Uh, the NFC is getting pretty up and down. The NFC East is getting ridiculous. Uh, but we'll go back to another, again, to another AFC North team. 3-3. Uh, three and three. For the Bengals, you know, 30-26 over the Saints. I think we all picked the Saints in that one as well. Um, but, you know, the Saints the Saints can put up numbers. Andy Dalton, I think, had three or four interceptions. Uh, it was just a really shitty day for him. Uh, Cincinnati does horrible things to the Red Rifle. But, um, but there wasn't anything spectacular in that game I watched. There was some plays, but, um, you know, Jamar Chase went off. But like I said, the Bengals, I thought, would be, you know, a 40-point-a-game a, a average kind of team. Hasn't really proven to be that. Their old line is still a mess. But uh, but we'll see what this week brings for them. Ravens at Giants. So I took the upset. I wanted the Giants to win. Giants end up pulling it off. I think the Giants are making an actual run for this. Um, you know, they've got... Wink Martindale, who used to be the offensive coordinator for the Ravens, maybe that's the problem because right now, again, the Ravens are at three and three. The AFC North is just kind of a—it's not what we thought it would be. We expected a couple more five and ones out of that division, but the NFC East Giants are keeping pace with the uh, with the Eagles. They had a great day. I think Saquon had another touchdown. Uh, Daniel Jones is doing enough to get. The games won and that's what's important as well so i am batman if you're out there cheers to the big blue my friend uh the bucks lost to the steelers this was probably the upset of the week last week kenny pickett had a day they came out they played ball uh the buccaneers are kind of dismantling tom brady was seen on the sideline given his uh given his o-line shit um, but that's it. You know, you got Ryan Jensen out. Um, you got a bunch of, bunch of people are hurt on that line. So they're playing in with some rookies, Giants and Eagles. I didn't even notice that that was on the dock. If that's going to be, yeah, that might even take, take better. Now we'll get to that though. But can the Giants pull off the upset? I, I'm, I'm riding full blue right now. I, I love big blue. I love what Brian Dayball's doing out there. Um, I just, I don't know. It's hard for me to cheer for the Eagles. It really is. It really, really is. Uh, Panthers at Rams. Rams did what we expected them to do. Uh, Panthers are in complete, you know, utter rebuild mode now. Um, this week they lost Robbie Anderson and Christian Caffrey. Uh, they gained a bunch of draft picks. Uh, let's see what they do with them. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much in blow it up and let's try it again. Seahawks beating the Cardinals. I didn't see this one coming. I thought um, I thought uh, 
Arizona would uh, would put up more of a fight. They did have a much better Thursday night game. We'll talk about that briefly. But uh, Geno Smith is still rolling in the West. So congrats to the Seahawks, 19 to nine over the Cardinals. Uh, Bills and Chiefs. This went the way we thought it would go. I love you guys, but yeah, it's uh, I knew the Bills were going to take this one. Hell of a game. Um, you know, everything was lights out. Always comes down to one possession when these two teams meet. I don't feel bad about this loss, you know, but congrats to the Mafia. Big win there. Hope to see you guys again in the playoffs. Uh, Cowboys and the Eagles. Um, I was hoping for the upset. Eagles still fly. 6-0. and Congratulations, Jalen Hurts and the team. Uh, but, yeah, just fuck the Eagles. The Eagles. Eagles. <sighs> All right, I got to move past it. I'll eventually get on the the Eagles bandwagon here. Chargers and Broncos. I watched this Monday nighter. It wasn't anything flashy. Um, Broncos, like I said, I'm not sold on the Broncos. I'm not sold on the whole Russell Wilson thing. I know he's got an injury. They're actually holding him out of today's game um, against Tennessee, I believe. Um, but yeah, he's got a partially torn hamstring. Um, he did have a great first quarter. I will give him that. I know, uh, I know Canadians there waiting for me to say something nice about him, but, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. They're the Broncos, man. I just, I can't cheer for them. I can't cheer for them They're I would rather cheer for the Chargers and the Raiders than the Broncos. The Broncos are just after Peyton left. That was it. Blow it up. Start it over. But that was our game recap of last week. Let's move on to this week. We got some injuries. We got a lot of shit going on. The Eagles are the real deal. The Bucks. Fuck, Tom Brady should have stayed retired. Probably still be getting mar still married, not looking at divorce lawyers. And uh, this isn't the way you want to go out. But you kind of got to finish it now. It looks like he'll have a nice, uh, a nice game. Hopefully they can bring it back. Because if they lose this game, something is terribly wrong in Tampa Bay. All right. So let's go with our week seven. Uh, we had, where's the Cardinals game? Oh, here we go. So Saints Cardinals on Thursday night was actually a great fucking game. I watched quite a bit of it. Um, D hop is back. Um, you know, Benjamin had a great game. Unfortunately, I kept him on my bench in fantasy. Um, so the Cardinals are rolling again. Um, this is the kind of scores that I expect from these teams. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, that was a hell of a game. I don't know if anybody else caught it, but uh, the Cardinals can still make a push. But now with the NFC West, with Christian McCaffrey on the 49ers, that just is a complete, complete atmosphere change in that division. Um, you know, everybody was trying to play catch up with the Rams. Rams have been shit in the bed. Uh, they've been winning, not by much, but they've been winning. Um that's the thing. And that's the other thing with Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey tends to get hurt a lot, you know, because that's what he was saying in Carolina too. You know, the guy goes, takes a piss and he's on the injury report. And it's true. It might just be the doctors out there. But yeah, like that's the thing as a running back. You do get hurt a lot. But, you know, I hope for the best. And I know we play, uh, Kansas City plays the Niners today. But uh, I really hope they don't have too many packages for him. But uh, but either way, we'll see how it goes. But let's get started with the battle of the AFC North. We have the Browns visiting the Ravens. Both teams are coming off losses. Um, what say you, some Canadian? And if anybody else is in the chat and you guys want to throw in your picks, feel free. Like, do not hesitate. Let us know. So, Browns visiting the Ravens. I'm going to have to take the Ravens on this one. Uh, Browns haven't done. Browns are so up and down. Is it going to disappear on me again? Nope, this will stay. Last week's is only going to going to disappear. All right, so what do we got? So Browns are still first in rushing. Um, I don't know. The, the Ravens defense isn't great, but it's not bad. I don't know if they can contain. I think Nick Chubb's still going to have a touchdown today, but I think they're probably... Uh, Brown's defense is going to have to play balls out. I think Lamar wants a win. Uh, Lamar will probably get it today. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, it's not too bad. Like, it's 60 percent completion. But when you have these two monsters in your backfield, um, 
you have to do something. I don't know if Ravens have what it takes um, to put up enough yards. Like, they can do it through the air, but Lamar is your leading rusher. J.K. Dobbins is on the IR for four to six weeks. Um, but let's go. Why can't I even? And I don't like it that I can't even get my uh, my numbers here, but let's pull up Bleacher Report. Let's see our numbers. Actually, let's see. Who do we got out? So Denzel Ward is out. I think that's your right tackle. Baltimore's got a bunch of questionables. I can definitely... The big guy, big two would be Ronnie Stanley and Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is an extremely productive um, tight end. If both of these tackles are out, though, then that's going to be a long day for Jamar or, um, for Lamar uh, if he has got to go up against Miles Garrett, Clowney all damn day with no tackles. But uh, I'm still leaning with the Ravens. Um, spread is six and a half points. I'll take the Ravens. I will take Cleveland to cover. I think this is going to come down to a field goal. Over under 46. I'll go over. I think it's going to be slightly over that. Some Canadian. He's got the Ravens. You want to get in on any of the spread or the over under their big guy? Cleveland will cover under 46. Good man. Good man. All right. So let's go on to Tampa Bay. And the fucking Carolina Kitty Cats. They may, they're better off just calling Cam Newton back. You know what, man? Just can you just finish off the season for us? Um, like you should just start PJ Walker. PJ Walker is better than any of the guys you have on there. Uh, I don't know. Baker's not bad, but Baker isn't as good as Baker thinks he is. And I think that's gonna be. Oh fuck! That is an ugly over under. All right, so they got Tampa Bay as the heavy, heavy favorites. Tampa Bay by 13 points, over under of 39. They're probably assuming Carolina is maybe going to score a couple field goals. But I don't know. I can't really see. Like at this point, you may as well just, you know, let's just take the day off. Um, who do we got? Cameron Braid is out. Akeem Hicks is out. I really don't think any of that is going to make too much of a difference. I think Tampa Bay is going to come out. Julio Jones is out again. I don't know. I don't know. Julio hasn't played much since he left the Falcons. But maybe they're saving him for the playoffs if they can make a run. But uh, Tampa Bay is in trouble here. Um, you know, I don't want to make light of the guy's situation. He's got shit going on. But fuck, dude, you should have pulled shoot last season. And you should have stayed gone. But uh, since then, there's been nothing but bad luck. Everything from the partnership with the Dolphins talk um, to just coming back. Like, that's it. I think I think Gronk, uh, Gronk took the right step and he just left. But um, I'll take the Bucks. Oh, fuck. I hate both those numbers. I'll take the Bucks. I'll take... Fuck it. I'll take Tampa to cover. Um, I'm going to go over just because it's such a low number, but I don't like that one. I don't like 39 is, is, you know, they're, they're expecting field goals. I don't imagine that Carolina is going to put up more than 10. You never know though. Uh, pick six is like, they still have a decent defense. Like, I don't think that they're, uh, they're terrible. They're sure shit not going to win much else this year. Uh, Steve Wilkes is basically just keeping the building uh, safe from burning down. But um, but they blew up their roster the minute they got rid of uh, Robbie Anderson and, and CMC this week. But good for them, though. They got out of there. Uh, there's a lot of problems with that organization. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But, um... oh, sorry. Ooh, trade block. Yeah, that's right. Trade... The trade deadline is November 1st, so you're going to be seeing hopefully a lot of movement in the next week or two. I know it was, it's been pretty quiet uh, the last couple of years, but I'm kind of hoping. I'm trying to see if um, 
there's been big talk about OBJ going to the Chiefs. Uh, they converted Kelsey's salary into a signing bonus and just got it done already to open up some money. So hopefully, um, Canadians going bucks, bucks to cover and under the 39. Um, but uh, we'll see what goes on. But there's, I think there's going to be some uh, receivers moving. Um, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks gets traded every season. Like He is just a journeyman. Uh, Chase Claypool on another team might be uh, a nice prospect. Jerry Judy. Uh, we'll see. I can see the Broncos getting rid of Jerry Judy. But if he is unhappy with Russ uh, and Team 3... You never know. He might uh, he might fly the coop, and they might turn it into uh, a decent draft pick. Uh, let's move on to the AFC South. We have Indianapolis visiting Tennessee. They're playing in Nashville on a beautiful day. Um, we got an over-under of 43. The Titans are favored by 2.5 points. Um, who? Uh, Kiki QT is out with a concussion. Quiddy Pay is out. Shaq Leonard is out. Um... With Shaq Leonard out and Quiddy P out, um, Derek Henry is gonna fucking eat. Um, I can't. I don't know if I can take. That's the thing. I think. I think Matt Ryan is better than Ryan Tannehill. The receivers are much better than Tennessee. But the only problem that I have is that. With Jonathan Taylor coming back, you got Michael Pittman back. They're actually like relatively healthy, minus these. These are big outs, but I don't know. Tennessee has done just enough to win. They haven't been anything spectacular. I think Derrick Henry eats. I don't know if it's enough to win the game, though. Um, over under a 43. I would take over in that one. Um,. Fuck, every time I pick the Colts, they let me down. But I'm going to do it again. Uh, I think Colts are going to win this one. I think Colts take the upset. Um, yeah, Colts win. Colts cover over 43. Yeah, okay. And Canadians end with Colts to win, Texans to cover, and over. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I like the Colts in this one. I think the Colts are the Colts are going to be Yeah, I think the Colts win this one. I really do. Unless there's something that happens to Matt Ryan, I I can't see it. All right. Cincinnati Atlanta. There's an interesting game. So they're playing in Cincinnati. Um Alfred Bernhardt are out. Nothing major as far as injuries. Like, a the, the couple blows, but, you know, I think Corderell Patterson being out for Atlanta is bigger than anything else. Um, since he is favored by 6.5 points, over under a 47.5, I do feel that this will be a relatively high-scoring game. Um, Atlanta's 4-2 and two against the spread, so is Cincy. They're, you know, they're 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 relatively identical. I just think that the roster on Cincinnati is is a lot better. But um, I'll take Cincy to win. I'll take Atlanta to cover. And I'm gonna go over forty seven and a half. Bengals to win, Falcons to cover, over for Canadian as well. All right, we'll move on to the next one. All right, so we got the Giants at the Jaguars. Hee, hee, hee. Oh, I was worried it was say the Giants at the Eagles. I was getting, I was looking forward to that. So Giants visit the Jaguars. We got an over-under of 43 and a half. Jaguars are favored by three. We're playing in Jacksonville. Uh, who is out? So again, they've been winning without Galladay and Tony um, for the last few weeks. I don't think that's going to stop them. Linebackers out. Uh, 
I still think they. I th- I think the Giants win. I think Giants win. Giants will cover that. Um, Forty three and a half. So that's the thing. I, I picture like a twenty one seventeen game. Um, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over. So Giants win. Giants cover. Over forty three and a half. All right, Canadians got Giants to win, Jags cover, and under. The only problem, Canadians, if the Giants win, the Jags can't cover. Because the Jags have to win by three. But I think I know what you mean. It'll be a tight game, but yeah, I don't know. The Giants, like I said, Big Blue has been doing just wonderful things. You know, and, I, and like I said, it is very rare. This will be the first season that I say anything nice about the Giants. Hopefully not the last. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't, whatever they're doing, whatever Brian Dable has these guys doing, you know, meditation, yoga, whatever the fuck it is. Um, 10 minutes of tree pose before uh, before practice. It's working like um, five and one for the Giants. I don't think anybody would have sat here. Um, you know, at the beginning of the season and thought that the Giants were going to be 5-1, and one, let alone that the, the, the Eagles were going to be 6-0. and oh. But the NFC East has turned it around. Uh, Cowboys do get Dak back today, so I'm interested to see how that goes. But as far as Giants football and Big Blue go, son of a bitch, you guys, uh, Dayball and Wink are doing something great out there. So it's, uh, you know, I love to see it. I love to see that the Giants are picking up the slack. Uh, they've had a couple down years. Uh, Daniel Jones is essentially Eli Manning. Um, I just, you know, it's even with these injuries, like you've got two of your starting receivers are gone and you're still doing it. Um, I think a big thing has been Saquon staying healthy. Um, hey, 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 no, no worries, buddy. I just want to make sure you know, but, um, but that said, it's just, um, I don't know. The Giants, like I said, the special sauce, the special sauce. There's something going on um, in the locker room. Like, it's just insane. But the Jacksonville Jaguars as well, you know, Doug Peterson's turned them around. Granted that you, you know, with Urban Meyer out, you know, yeah, people seem to be much happier. Um, you know, they haven't been in the news quite, uh, quite as much. But all the hype into Trevor Lawrence, I think, was just over-boasting. He's playing great ball right now. I won't take that away from him. Um, Jacksonville does have a lot of names. They're paying big money to receivers. Christian Kirk steals kind of what started this whole, you know, $140 million, um, you know, receiver contract talk. But uh, Jacksonville's doing Jacksonville stuff. They can keep up. Um, the way that the AFC South is looking right now, right? Like, I'm curious. Let's go see the standings right now. So Jacksonville's a game, uh, or a game behind the Titans. Uh, what are they doing in the division? All right. So Jacksonville's lost two in the division. They can't afford to lose anymore. Um, the only way they're going to make the playoffs is if uh, they would have to beat all these teams again. Uh, but right now, uh, I don't think Houston's got a shot. It's really between the Titans and the Colts. Um, we're essentially identical. They're not off by that much. But uh, like I said, Jacksonville's got a lot of points for. Uh, they're at least points against, but you can't drop divisional games. If you're dropping games in your division um, and it comes down to any kind of tiebreaker or whatnot, you're not making a wild card. You're not making the playoffs. So it doesn't matter if you go, you know, 10 and 8 and you wind up dropping every game in your division. You're not going to make it into the wild card. Someone with a better divisional record will get that. But like I said, Jacksonville, I think Jacksonville's a contender still. Um, I wouldn't write, I wouldn't write them off just yet. 
Um, but yeah, the Titans and the Colts seem to have a run on this. It's really how these two teams fare out for the rest of the season. But uh, I think Tennessee, Tennessee's a perennial playoff contender. So hopefully, um, you know, they figure it out. But I think you got to get to a point if you are the Titans that you want Malik Willis in. Like, I know he doesn't have anybody to throw to. I know Taylor Lewan and a lot of your offensive line are hurt. But, like, fuck, something needs to happen there. Like, it, it, Tennessee isn't as dominant as Tennessee used to be. So we just did this one. Oh, boy. Dak comes back to the Detroit Lions. Detroit's coming off a bye week. They are playing in Arlington, Texas under the Jerry Dome. Uh, Detroit is bang the fuck up. Um, DJ Chark is out. Harris. Swift, they need to play. Uh, hopefully he will. Uh, I do want to see a good game. Like, that's the thing. Like I said, I keep... I don't want to... Indy, appreciate you coming down, pal. Hope you're doing well, too, you and yours. Um, but, yeah, we got an over-under of 49.5 points. Dallas has uh, got a spread of 6.5 points. The way that Detroit was playing before the bye, they can put up numbers... Uh, but Dak's got something to prove today. Let's go check out our lines here. So Detroit is three and two against the spread. Uh, Dallas is three, two and one against the spread. Um, so Detroit's zero and two away. Cowboys are two and one. Um, I don't know. I can't. I can't bet on the. I can't bet on the lines. I can't bet on the lines. I gotta bet on. The, I gotta take C notes Cowboys. C note, we're going full Cowboys here. Um, Cowboys. Cowboys cover under forty nine and a half. So they're not. Yeah, I th I think with Dak coming back, uh, we'll see how it goes. I know that Detroit's uh, Detroit Detroit. Detroit's defense is, is damn good, but uh, I think Dak's got a lot to prove. He's got to come back. Uh, you know, Cooper Rush just went like, what, 5-1 and one without without him. So um, he's got something to prove right now. So I think Dak comes back. He lights the Dolphins or the, uh, the Lions up for, I think he's going to put at least 30 points on the board. Whether or not Detroit's going to put up 20 is going to be the question. Uh... Dallas win, cover, and under. See, be a birthday gift, right? <coughs> and that's it. And for those of you, next time you guys see C-Note, please wish, wish him a happy belated birthday. But uh, but we definitely miss having you here today, pal. Hopefully everything's all well. But, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't pick against Dallas in this game. Like, the Detroit Lions have let me down too many times this, this season already. Um, they haven't won shit away. Um... Sorry, Dan Campbell. Until otherwise, I've got to bet against the Detroit Lions. Now, Carson Wentz has been placed on the IR. He's got a broken finger. Uh, Green Bay should be placed on the IR because they are shitting the bed. But I think this is the bounce back game for the Packers. They are playing over at FedEx Field in Washington. Um, the over under is 41 and a half. I think that that is an apt number. Um, Taylor Heineke is making, uh, the start for the, uh, for the commanders. Taylor Heineke can ball. I like Taylor Heineke. Um, he was backing up Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, and Alex Smith. He came out, he lit it up when he had to for them. I think he even won them. He almost won them that playoff game against, uh, Tom Brady in Tampa Bay there. Uh, but I think, I think Green Bay gets it together today. Uh, Bakhtiari's back on the list, so your left tackle is questionable. I'm sure he's going to play. Sammy Watkins just got taken off of the IR list. Um, questionable to play with a hamstring. If he does, he's probably, I can't imagine him. He's going to be doing anything crazy. Um, Washington's still pretty hurt. I'm not sure if Chase Young is back yet. Um, not that it's going to make too much. It's just going to affect the running game if he is. 
Um, Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon should have a lot of work today. Um, I've got AJ or uh, I've got Aaron Jones in fantasy, and if you do too, I recommend that you start him. I know he's had a couple of uh, or a quiet week last week, but I think they bounce back. I think Aaron Rodgers comes back win this. Uh, they got Packers winning by four. I'll take Packers by a touchdown. Uh, Packers win. Uh, Packers cover. Let's go with. I'm going under 41 and a half. I feel like this is going to be like a 21 to seven kind of game. Uh, Taylor Heineke is great. I think the Commanders, they're okay. They're not a bad team, but I don't think uh, I I think they're going to get outplayed and outcoached today. So Green Bay. Uh, Canadians got Green Bay, Packers cover, and over. I like it. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, Aaron gets, gets that step back because they, like I said, it has just been, ugh, football from the Green Bay Packers. Now, no Russell R- Wilson. Brent Rapian is, uh, or Rapian is starting for... The Denver Broncos. Um, Denver's just kind of a dumpster fire right now. I don't know if it's Nathaniel Hackett. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, they're talking about already firing the guy. I just, I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know how to read Denver. I don't think they're going to win this game at all. Jets are fucking rolling. If you are a fan of gangrene, good for you. It's about time you guys won some games. Uh, they're playing over at Mile High. EJ Moore is sitting out. Oh, well, I guess they're benching him because he keeps asking for a trade. They don't want to trade him. Um, I don't know. Some of these receivers are getting a little crazy. Uh, I understand, you know, you want the ball all the time. But if your running back is getting 140 yards a game, two touchdowns, you know, be productive but yeah i I, I don't know if bitching that you're not getting the ball is the correct attitude to have um especially when you're on the jets like you know robbie anderson put up with a lot more shit than you did but uh but we'll see how it goes he'll likely get traded off if he's unhappy they'll get rid of him i'm sure there'll be a lot of suitors for ej Moore. uh denver's pretty banged up um i i don't know i just can't see um i can't see the broncos winning this I just can't. Um, I'm going to take the Jets. I think the Jets win a little more than two. I'll take the Jets to cover over under of 37. Jets have been scoring quite a bit. So Jets average 23 points a game, 15. Yeah, that's that's a Denver number. Um even if we went with the averages of the game, right? So we got, you should be a little higher than 37 and a half. I'm going to go with over. I think the Jets put up 30 today. I think the Jets put up 30 today. So uh, Jets are 5-1 and one against the spread. They've been killing it. Uh, Broncos have been, you know, let shit against the spread. Three and all way, yeah. Everything, all, all signs, all, all the little nerve endings in my brain say to pick the Jets. Canadian Jets to win, Jets to cover over. There we go. Things are starting to settle down in the NFL. We're starting to see who, who the real, real players are. And this is our first game of our afternoon lineup here we're moving pretty quick feel without c note i've got to rush it through this but uh, hopefully we'll have him back next week i don't know why i closed off bleacher report all right houston at the raiders raiders have been losing some pretty bad games raiders like what are they averaging 25 points a game and they're still losing um you know it's it's always been the Raiders like they they always find a way to lose and that's one thing that I found like even in the playoffs you know you make the playoffs you found a way to lose 
Um, they are a good team, and I know this because I have to play them constantly. My best friend is a Raiders fan. Um, but uh, with Josh McDaniel and everything, I thought that they would be on a tear right now. Um, you know, you got Josh Jacobs in the backfield. Uh, Darren Waller is still out from what I have heard. Yeah, so he's still out dealing with a hamstring. Um, I don't think it's anything that's going to stop them. But Houston's just one of those teams. Whenever you bet against Houston, they tend to come out and play. Uh, Houston's averaging more points than the fucking Denver Broncos per game. Uh, 17 points a game. Um, they're allowing this, and this is the problem, right? This is when you get into your differentials. So these guys allow 19 points a game. Uh, let's just call it an even 20, and they're allowing 17. So they're losing by about three points on average. And that's when you start getting into your differential. And now you look at the, at the Raiders. We have 25 points a game that they score, but they're allowing 26. And this is the thing. When you have such... It, it almost hurts to have a differential that tight because it's always coming down to these last-second games, one-pointers, field goals. But um, in this game, like... You know, it's... It's a productivity game, and I've got to go with the Raiders. I have to. Like, you've got Josh Jacobs. You've got Devontae Adams. Everybody's coming off by. Yeah, you don't have Darren Waller. I think Derek Carr is better than Davis Mills. Uh, nothing against Mills. You know, he's, he's doing what he can with what he's got. But um, I don't know. Houston... I know they just got rid of Jack Easterby, which was the whole... If you've been following the NFL for, for a few years, Jack Easterby was kind of like a spiritual leader for the New England Patriots. Um, what had happened was one of the managers from the Patriots had left. He went to the Houston Tex Texans. <coughs> That's when they got rid of J.J. Watt. They got rid of uh, D-Hop, um, the Watson thing. Uh, they wanted to hold it, but, um, but Jack Easterby... Uh, ruffled a lot of feathers, pissed a lot of people off. Uh, people didn't like him. They finally got rid of him, so maybe that'll change. I don't think the guy, like, I don't know, you know, I don't know much other than the stories I've heard. But, yeah, he was very much, um, he didn't like to take orders and uh, from management. And he kind of did his own thing, but I think they had enough of that. So he's gone now. Uh, but Houston is just front office, back end. They just need everything redone. Um, I feel bad for this franchise. Uh, hopefully, you know, something good comes of it. I know they got Lovey Smith, who is, you know, nothing nothing but respect for Lovey Smith. He's been in the league, you know, 60 years, uh, player, coach. But, yeah, I can't pick. I can't pick the Texans. I just can't. Um, Raiders. Raiders to cover. Um Over 46. Canadian agrees. Raiders to win. Raiders to cover. And over as well. All right. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. KC. Going and playing at Santa Clara. We have our offensive uh, guard, Joe Tooney. Is, he should be playing. I can't see him not playing. Um... But he is questionable. Um, San Fran got a lot of people back today. Um, Nick Bosa is back. You know, you got the addition of Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey. C.J. Ward is questionable. I think he is playing. Hafunga. If you have not seen Hafunga play, he is the new Troy Polamalu. Um, absolute lightning on the field. Uh, he has a concussion. Not good news. Good news as a Chiefs fan if he doesn't play. But... Um, but Hafunga is he is lightning in a bottle to watch. Uh just the hair out of the back of the helmet, it is it is a show. But uh he's been playing lights out. So I'm glad he's not in. What's going on? Stepdad. Raiders, welcome in. Welcome to Angry Corgi Productions. Stepdad, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. How are we all doing? Mally and Z, thank you for coming in. This is Angry Corgi Productions. We are doing... I can't help but sing to that song. 
But welcome in, Raiders. Miss D6, thank you so much for coming in. Welcome to Angry Corgi Productions. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dan. Uh, I am joined, actually, by some Canadian brown dude. We are doing the Puff Pass and Kick Show. Sorry, Steph, give me two seconds here. Let me get you a shout-out. How was your stream? How are you doing? How is everyone? i got to get my life together here. Sorry, Lady Dragon is... Uh, fighting the COVID upstairs, so I'm uh, I'm riding solo today. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you so much for the raid, though, Steph. Very much appreciate it. And welcome in, everybody. Thank you, Mally. How, how are you and Z doing? I don't get to see you guys. They have me working these regular jobs in daytime hours like assholes. So I don't get to see my daytime crew anymore, but I hope you guys are all doing well. And like I said, we're just doing our NFL picks um, for week seven. Uh, good to hear. Good to hear. Misty, thank you for the falls. <laughs> Some Canadian, I, I do have to give you a uh, hang on here. Let me just do a round of shout outs here. Mally and Z who have been following, following us since the beginning. I gotta give Canadian a shout out to God. I am just the worst. Misty Six, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Steph, for bringing in your community. And I gotta give uh, my good my good friend here Sam a shout out. And appreciate everybody else who's come in, been lurking. I see your guys' names up there, and we can't thank you guys enough for all the support and all the love. You show us here at Angry Corgi Productions. Um, and like I said, we are doing our Week 7 picks. We are about to talk about my Kansas City Chiefs visiting the San Francisco 49ers. Big news this week for the 49ers. They have acquired Christian McCaffrey. Hydrate, shit, I'm almost out of coffee. I got you, Misty. Thank you so much. Oh, I always need to shout you out, brother. Always. Like I said, a lot of you guys have been with us since the start. Uh, we're coming up on our uh, on our first year of streaming. I think we started in December, so we're getting close, but we appreciate all the love and that it's actually been able to grow into this. Oh, I know where I know where you're leaning. I just saw your name pop up. Yep, figured as much. Um, now here's the thing: we got a one point spread. I hate the one-point spread. The one-point spread is like that one-point differential I was telling you about. That is absolute dog shit. So let's take a look at the numbers. Chiefs are always notoriously horrible against the spread. So Chiefs are 1-4 and four against the spread. <coughs> the San Francisco 49ers are 3-2, and two, which is a lot more respectable. Um, two wins away, two wins at home. I don't know. You know, we're averaging 30 points a game. They're averaging 20. But now that you add CMC into the fold, even if they have two red zone packages for him, um, you're looking at... I think he's good for a touchdown today. I really do think Christian McCaffrey is good for a touchdown. He is from the Bay Area. He did go to Stanford. Um, but, uh, but this is going to be the big thing. San Francisco's defense, especially with Nick Bosa playing, is an absolute machine. Um, that's what worries me. They're second in the league. They are allowing an average of 15 points a game. That is half of what we put up a game. Kansas City's defense is sus suspect as fuck. Um, and that's what worries me. You got Debo Samuel, Samuel you got Brandon Ayuk. Um, they have nothing but weapons. Jimmy G can run the game. Um... I don't know. I hate this one. I hate this one so much. See, turnover differential, you know, we're about the same. But I don't know. I hate I hate this game. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be another. This is going to be a test for the Chiefs. If the Chiefs can stop the 49ers today, take the win, then we're ready for, you know, we're good. We're good. But our defense, like I said, is questionable as fuck. Um, out of everybody we lost last season, I miss Honey Badger. He was, he was just fire. Not to say anything bad about Justin Reed. Justin Reed's been doing his job, but I don't know. There, there's just something lacking. And I've, 
I, I don't like talking poorly of Spags, but Steve Spagnuolo's defense has always kind of sputtered in the first half of the season. Uh, they come through when they need to, but then we get sloppy. We get stupid penalties. Um, I have to go with my Chiefs because I, I, I went with the Bills last week. So regardless of whatever happens, um, I'd go with the Chiefs. Uh, if I am looking at gambling odds, though, let's check out power play here. So if I'm looking at odds, fuck, they are pretty much, yeah, this is going to be one of those games. It doesn't really matter. You're not getting too much of a difference on uh, on a heavy favorite. Like I said, that one-point spread. It ain't worth the extra 15, 15 points to me. I've got to go with the Chiefs. I'm going to go with the Chiefs to win, Chiefs to cover. i got to go over 49. I think this is, I, I really hope for like a 70-point game. Like I do and I don't, but uh, but I like it. Some Canadians going with the Niners to win, Niners to cover, and over. I think this will, I hope this is going to be a barn burner, but it, it's really up to whether or not Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid have an answer for that 49ers defense. But this is going to be a hell of a game. Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, I know I might not like the outcome, but uh, like I said, with San Francisco adding uh, Christian McCaffrey, uh, that team just went to a whole new plateau. As long as he can stay healthy, they can run their division no problem. Um, Seattle... Seattle, I think Seattle is going to be in it when when we come to the wild card talk. Uh, Rams are questionable. The Cardinals, they've got to get going here. Like I know they've added, you know, the Cardinals got like eight receivers right now. Like it's even with AJ Green, and AJ Green is like the least popular of your receivers right now. Um, but that's it. You added Robbie Anderson. You got D Hop back. Um, Hollywood Brown, I believe, is missing the rest of the season with a foot injury. But uh, I don't know. The NFC West is uh, is up for grabs, but I think San Francisco may have just put that nail in the coffin. I think with that addition of uh, CMC, that is going to change a lot of shit for them. All right, so we got some updates right now. DeAndre Swift will be out for the um, for the uh, the Lions, so I think we can. David Bakhtiari is out. Oh, shit. All right. All right. So we got a couple more outs right now. So David Bakhtiari isn't playing versus the Commanders. Uh, so Aaron Rodgers' left side will be weak. Um, officially active. All right, everybody else. Sammy Watkins will be playing. Uh, but yeah, wow. All right. David Bakhtiari again, son of a bitch. Well, it is what it is. Luckily, I'm not a Packers fan. I don't mind the Packers, but yeah, I know that definitely, definitely affects the scenery there in uh, in Green Bay when, uh, when Bakhtiari is not in. All right, so let's move on to uh, our other last game of the afternoon docket. Where I lose my monitors here again. So Seattle visits, visits the Los Angeles Chargers at SoFi Stadium. Um, Seattle has been looking fucking awesome. Um, let's just see what's going on with some injuries. So Seattle... You know, they can pull through. Uh, Tyler Lockett questionable with a hamstring. Hopefully he'll play... Um, and then you got Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen might be back today. That would be nice. Uh, Dustin Hopkins, their kicker who kicked the game winner last week with a, what is, I can't remember if it was partially torn hamstring, but for a kicker to kick the ball with a torn hamstring, that is guts. So Hopkins won it for the boys last week. Uh, great game. Uh, definitely didn't want to lose that game to the Broncos. Uh, you know, Josh Kelly is going to be out as well for the Chargers. Um... I don't know. Chargers are four and two against the spread. 
like they're not too far off. They sort of about the same points, average game. They allow about the same. Um, fuck, they are. Other than yards allowed, and that's the one thing. Um, Seattle's more of a passing game. Uh, I can't. They they've got a new running back. I can't. Kenneth Walker, the third, I think, but uh, he's been lighting it up. But I don't know. I don't know. How do you feel about this one, Canadian? Because I'm sitting here, and I kind of want to pick the Seahawks. I don't think Justin Herbert's completely gotten over his rib issues. I think it definitely helps having... Um, having uh, sorry, everybody. I'm just fucking forgetting everybody's name. Keenan Allen back. Uh, but yeah, Austin Eckler's running the ball. I don't know, man. I'm not used to picking the Seahawks, but I kind of feel like I have to. I know the Chargers are a five-point favorite over-under, but I kind of like Seattle. I like Seattle to cover, and I like the over of 51. What say you? Seattle, but I'm trying to figure out the next two. Uh, yeah, you know, it's... I don't know. I, I can definitely see this being a 30-point each kind of game. I can see this going up to 60, 70 points, but... I just don't like that. Chargers by five. Like, I don't know. Geno's been playing lights out. I really like the way Geno's been playing. That whole team has just kind of been stepping up. I think they had one game with like eight um, eight people that caught uh, receptions. Like, you've got two decent tight ends, Disley, and I can't remember the other guy's name. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. But I do... If I had to pick right now, gun to my head, I would take the upset. I'd take Seattle. What's Seattle paying? If you're gambling, I'd almost gamble on them too. But I like the Seahawks here. I really do. Um, they have the Chargers winning by five. So your spread's going to be five. For the Chargers, but I just, I don't know. Seattle's kind of, they're, they're, Seattle's cooking without Russ. I, I just, I can't pick against them. I really can't. I know we're still playing October football, but yeah, the Chargers. I don't think Seattle's defense is that bad. They're, 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 they're making... Right, they're 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 not nothing crazy. Like they're both essentially the same team. One just plays in the sun, the other plays in the rain. Oh shit, the Seattle Seahawks actually have a better run game. But like I said, I don't know. I can't I like the Seahawks here. I really do. I like Seahawks to win today. I like the Seahawks to win, Seahawks to cover. And like I said, I got to go over the 51. You do, yeah? It's going to be one of those. Saddle, but I think the Chargers will cover and lose by three and under. Okay, I can see that. I can definitely see that too. I've been, I you know, I keep hoping for, for these lights out games and the games that are supposed to be absolute shit piles end up having high scoring games. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that's a definite possibility, man. That is a definite possibility. I really don't think Justin Herbert's playing at 100%. I think it shows, um, like I said, I watched that uh, the Broncos game last week on Monday there. Chargers weren't anything crazy. Let's go visit uh, my division here. I really do need them to lose that game, too. Uh, so Chiefs are still running it in the West. Um, Chargers are 4-2. and two. They usually keep up. I don't like it though. I I I I got I got Seattle to win here. Seattle to win, Seattle to cover. Uh I'm going to stick with my over but I can definitely see what uh why Canadian says it's going to be one of those little 10 to 7 kind of 13 to 10 kind of games. So, that brings us and I apologize everybody, it's going to be a quicker show today. And then we got Pittsburgh, Miami. So two is back. Right? 
Yeah, he's not listed anymore. That's good. But they, holy shit, they do have a lot of people questionable. Um, so Pittsburgh came out last week. Pittsburgh had a hell of a game. Uh, Kenny Pickett, I can't remember. Kenny, Kenny let it up last week. Let me, let me get my numbers here. So Kenny Pickett last week beat Tampa Bay. Oh, so it was a mix of Trubisky and Pickett. So Trubisky went, uh, nine for 10, or nine for 12 for 144 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Pickett 11 for 18 for 67. Both got sacked once. Um, Najee Harris 42 yards. Again, the rushing game doesn't really seem to be there. Um, he did have a receiving touchdown though. Claypool had about 100 yards and a touchdown. I don't know. I, I, I gotta go with Miami. I do. I still can't trust the Pittsburgh offensive line is questionable. Uh, whether or not they're actually offensive linemen, um, whether or not they, you know, can block. Um, the fact that that you're, when your running back is more receiving yards than rushing yards, um, they're not opening up the holes they need to open up. Um, Kenny Pickett ate the dirt a lot the week before. You know, the kid had like 300 yards, but he got sacked like five times. Um, yeah. Like Pittsburgh, like I said, I love Pittsburgh without, I think last week was the first game they've ever won without TJ Watt starting. I got to go with Miami. Uh, Tua's going to come back. Tua's going to do some shit. Uh, Jalen Waddle's going to have a big game. I think Tyreek Hill's going to have a big game. Um, I can't pick Pittsburgh in this. I just can't, uh, even despite this, you know, laundry list of questionables, I just can't. Um... Same record against the spread. Uh, there isn't anything crazy. You know, they don't win much. There you got two losses away. Miami's got two wins at home. Miami still puts up more points than them, even without having two for the last two weeks. Um, 366 yards per game on average versus 291. I have to go with the better offense in this. I have to. Um, I got to go Miami. I have to go Miami. I'm going to take Miami. I'm going to take Miami to cover on prime time. And I am going to go under 44 and a half. All right. What's Canadian got? Dolphins to win. Miami to cover. And over. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. I like it. And that brings us to our Sunday night game. Let's go see what our Monday night is. Oh, boy. <laughs> we have the New England Patriots visiting the Chicago Bears. Um, Bears have been playing some kind of dumpster fire football. I don't think it matters who is starting for the Patriots. Bailey Zappi, uh, Mac Jones... You know, Bill might even get his kid to come back on and <laughs> bring the mullet out for uh, for Steve Belichick. Um, I just, I can't, I can't, I, I, fuck, the Bears, you feel bad for them. Uh, we got an over under a 40 points. Um, they're expecting the Patriots to win by eight. So we got, um, I'll take the Patriots. I'll take Patriots to cover that eight points. Um I'm going under 40 in this game. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a wide scoring game. Every time I say that about the Patriots, I'm wrong though. But I just, I don't know. I just can't see it. I just can't see it. Patriots win clean games. They don't make it uber flashy, but they know how to will. But Bill Belichick's been winning for years. He'll continue to win. Um... But yeah, I can't, I can't pick the Bears in any, any way, shape, or form. I cannot vote on, I cannot bet on the Bears. I cannot bet on the Lions. Um, those two teams and the and the Panthers, right? Like I think these are the teams that are just perennial, perennially going to get bet against. 
the commanders, they're hitting the shit bucket now. Um, you know, uh, I'm hoping that Taylor Heineke uh, has a monster game. Like, I want the Packers to win, but uh, Taylor Heineke should have been the starter of that team. Um, he did it. Patriots are going to win 27 to nothing. Tell you what, Canadian, I'm going to make you a wager. Patriots, if that is the final score in the Patriots Bears game, I will give five subs to your channel. 27 to nothing. I will make you that deal. I like that number. I think that's a good bet. But, yeah, I think that's a good number. I can't see, I just can't see, <clears throat> I can't see the Bears. I could literally see them getting shut out. I, I really can. Yeah, I will, uh, yeah, we'll make you that. You want to call that, if that's the numbers you want? I'll give you five gifted subs. Patriots on Monday night, if they beat the Chicago Bears 27 to 0, not 26 to 0, not 28 to 0, 27 to 0, I will happily gift five subs to your community, some Canadian. Or any community you want, uh, yours to do with what you want. But uh, if you are out in my chat and you are not following some Canadian Brown, please go check him out. He has Stick Talk on YouTube as well, where he talks NHL games. Uh, the man is a huge Oilers fan. Um, but yeah, she's trying to get me into hockey, and I'm doing my best. Unfortunately, my Winnipeg Jets keep shit in the fucking bed, so uh, you know I might have to pull shoot. <laughs> I'm not affiliated with anybody yet, but um, I know they had a rough night against the Maple Leafs yesterday. We got some movement going on the lines here. Uh, Ravens, Browns. Oh, the over-under changed a little bit. Nothing nothing crazy. But tell you what, that brings us to the end of our games. Let's go make a ticket, everybody. So, Canadian. You are, hey, man, you guys got Connor McJesus. You guys are never out of it, man. Like, that's, and, and that's it. Like, and, and that's the one thing with hockey and baseball. that There's just so many games. It's just, it's so hard to keep track. Like, you can just have a shitty Tuesday, lose to the worst team in the league, come back and destroy the rest of the week. See, at least with the NFL, everything is in that week. You know it's coming up. You have that one game. But, yeah, but I've got tremendous respect for, you know, daily sports. Um, basketball, baseball, hockey, um, anywhere that requires you to be a human being. Like, and I'm talking like an athletic human being four or five days a week and just keep pumping you're gonna lose some games uh but yeah it's just i don't know i don't know my jets the jets are the jets but i'm used to being a, a fan of winnipeg sports so we've been there we've lost that but it is what it is but let's make a ticket because there's some games in here i like there's some games in here i hate but uh, i haven't played and i've still got quite a bit of free money to throw around That if I don't use, I lose. So, oh, Ravens to win. Okay, so here is the Canadian list. Ravens to win, Bengals to cover, under, Bucks, Bucks to cover, under, Colts to win, uh, Colts to cover. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back over this uh, during the week and we will check it out. Uh, but yeah, but definitely, again, everybody, thanks for coming in. Okay, thanks for coming and hanging out. Canadian, always a blast to have you on here, pal. Very much appreciate all the love and support that you show me and lady. Uh, we're going to make a ticket right now, though. Um, oh, I'm excited to see how this week goes. So if I'm looking at numbers right now, the closer you are to a one, if you're not familiar with gambling, uh, those are your favorites. So what this would mean is on a $100 ticket, you're going to get $166. And if you were to bet... On the Broncos, you would need to put $215 to win $100. So that's generally how what these numbers are reading. So for me, um, I usually do a $2 upset ticket. If there is teams that I can see winning that are paying well, uh, I will throw a couple bucks on it. Um, so here we got the Colts that are the underdogs versus the Titans. Um, I'm going to take the Colts in this one. The Giants I'm going to take at 240. And then 
I really do like the Jets at 166. So these would be three games that I would take if you're just looking for for some upsets. Like I know the Jets aren't an upset, but at 166, that's a nice number. See, I really want to touch that Seahawks game, but I know I'm going to regret it if I do. Um, other than that, I think we can safely say... I can't safely say anything. And then if I'm just going to, you know, up my numbers a little bit, I'll take kind of a heavy favorite. So we'll put the Patriots on there. So we got a four-fold ticket. Let's, let's throw a Canadian Toonie on her. Um, so that'll be 2150. If that ticket hits, hey, no, 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 it's all good, pal. All good, pal. We got to figure out when we're going to record. I got to watch some shit. Hopefully let's try to shoot for Wednesday again. If that works for you, it's usually a, a bit of a slower day for me at the shop. But, uh, so we've got that ticket in. Let's go. Okay, so we've got this. We can close this ticket off. Let's clear out our choices. Now, this is where it's going to get a little funner. So we are going to do a spread ticket. So we're going to be looking at these spreads. So a lot of these, uh, they have people winning by touchdowns. I usually like kind of the closer ones. So when we get into these, like the San Fran KC one, I like I can't I don't want to bet on Kansas City today. I know they're like it's just one of the you know what fuck it. I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. We got Kansas City. Uh, I'll get them to cover. I like see, and I don't like doing money line and then picking a spread with the same team just in case they lose because that kind of screws up both my tickets. Um, I think the Packers are gonna cover the four against the Commanders. I really like this three for the Jets. I really do. Canadian, if you're still there, pick one spread that you like. Which one is your favorite here? Who do you think is going to cover? I, it's, you know, well, it's, it's usually the best thoughts because that's the one thing I noticed with hockey too is everybody leads on your home team. But like the only, this Raiders-Texans one, I don't know. The Raiders always let me down on tickets. I can see Tampa Bay going for 14. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to take this guy off matter too. Patriots by eight is also likely. I don't know how I feel. Yeah, home teams are generally the favorite, but like I said, there's some. This the Atlanta Bengals game. I'm I'm gonna watch that one. I I want to see. I think this is. I I got a little sneaky suspicion that the the Falcons are gonna keep it a little closer than we think. It's open board, buddy. What do you feel? What do you like? What? Are, which spread do you think? Who do you think is going to cover that one guarantee? I got the Packers over the Commanders. Uh, I think they'll cover that four. I've got the Chiefs to cover the one point over the Niners. I just don't know what else. Like I really don't without... Like the Jets winning by three over the Broncos. I can definitely see that happening. And this is my other one because the only problem is Detroit Lions, if they come out and throw 30 fucking points, um, I can see this being a field goal as well. Ravens keep losing last minute. Really tight games. I don't know if I trust that one. Chargers and Seahawks game? You like the Seahawks to cover that one, eh? It's 
take the Seahawks to cover. I think you're going to... If you're a betting man, let's hear it. Come on, Canadian, let's go. I'm throwing some money on I want one of your picks. You are legit going to have a pick in my ticket today. Oh, they shut down the Panthers. They won't even let you bet on the spread between the Panthers and the Bucks. So unless something happened just now, let's take a look. Generally, when you get a lockdown like this, <laughs> something's happening. Uh, is Tampa Bay not playing? What, what the fuck's going on? Let's check our inactives. I don't. I don't think it's going to be anything we haven't seen. No, everybody that we kind of knew was not going to be there. Well, maybe they just had enough of it. I'll say this: you offered something to me, so I'll offer. What are you up to, Canadian? <laughs> what are you up to? Fuck, I really do like the... Yeah, I like the Seahawks in there. I really do. The Patriots win it, you get five. If the Bears cover, you get five. Ooh. It's a long shot, but I'll take it. So tell you what, we're going to add... Patriots to cover, price change from 195. I'm okay with that. All right, so we have a fourfold. We'll use our bonus. Oh, shut up. Let me do this. So we'll use some of our bonus cash here. So that one on a $5 ticket for those spreads. Um, so we have Kansas City to cover. We have Green Bay to cover. Uh, we have Seattle to cover. And we have uh, Patriots to cover. Um, on a $5 bet, that is going to bring us to $60.44 Canadian. So that equals like $13 American, I'm pretty sure, uh, if my if my exchange rates are right. But I'll accept that. I will take that. I will take that, Canadian. I know it's a long shot, but I will take that. I always feel better about your 27 to nothing bet. But either way, Paul, I got no problems with that. I appreciate you guys coming in. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um... I'm just trying to figure out what else, if there's anything else we need to talk about. Uh, like I said, now with all the bye weeks coming in, uh, it'll move a little quicker. Um, we lost some of our dialogue here with Sino today, but we hope everything is good over there. Uh, Canadian, I can't thank you enough for coming out and hanging out with me and doing this. Everybody else that came in, Steph, Dad, I very much appreciate it. Um, let's go take a look at who we can show some love to. Who do we got? I still got to finish. I have uh, just a little bit left of Gears of War. I'm almost tempted just to get through it right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but maybe we'll take a break and then I'll come back and do that. Um, I hope those, I don't know, man, the Bears, and it's disappointing, like, you know, the Bears got rid of some people, um, I don't know, I don't, I, I felt bad for Justin Fields, um, I know I shouldn't, um, it is the Bears, the Bears do Bears things, but you hate to see, um, I think he's a talented quarterback, I think he just got the short end of the stick, um, he, like I said, he's nothing... Nothing spectacular, but I don't think he can develop there, right? Four touchdowns for five interceptions, a 54% completion, hasn't broken a 1,000 yards. He's not getting, he is the second highest rusher on his team. Um, they just don't have the tools for him. I think if Justin Fields went somewhere like Seattle, um even like, you know, you could really put him anywhere other than, you know, Houston. And I think he'd be relatively okay. But yeah, I don't know the Bears. I don't know what happened to that franchise, man. Something just shat the bed. I know they were talking about, uh, they were talking about moving out of Soldier Field uh, and down to, uh, and down to Texas. But I don't know. They're, they're going to put the money into it. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, the Bears get their shit together. I know they are one of the 
gloried franchises over the decades in the NFL and well deserving. But you know, it's uh, it's just one of those things. Sometimes shit doesn't pan out. <coughs> But let's see what we got going on here. But what I might do, everybody, is I really want to finish uh, up Gears of War. I think that's going to be my play um, going on next. So I want to thank everybody for coming in and watching the Puff Pass and Kick Show. I'm going to take a brief intermission here, uh, go re-up and elevate myself, and uh, we will be back again. Some Canadian. I appreciate you being here, pal. Everybody, thanks for coming in, hanging out with us here at the Puff Pass, I haven't gotten a chance to finish it up. What haven't you finished? I'm confused. What did I miss? <clears throat> I... It's such a great... Oh, uh, Gears, you know, I'm at the last boss. I'm at the last boss. I didn't realize I was having so much trouble yesterday, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't beat this guy. But it's mostly because I'm spastic and I'm shooting the wrong thing. But uh, no, we got through it. And this is my first playthrough of Gears. I'd never played it when it first came out. I, I, like, I wasn't big into video games then. But I'm pretty excited to finish her off. But if you guys want to give me you know, five minutes here, just let me get set up. I will be back. I'll have some tunes on. And then we can finish up Gears. Hopefully before I got till 3 o'clock. I got about uh, three and a half hours until the Chiefs play. So I'll get Red Zone on upstairs in a little bit. But uh, yeah, just give me about five minutes, everybody. I will be back. I'm just going to go to the bathroom quickly. And uh, hey, man, appreciate you. Tell you what, hang on, man. I want to see if I can do something while I got you here. I just want to make you my, my mod today. May as well give you some... You guys are here enough. I, I feel like I need more people with mod stuff just in case uh, something happens to Lady Dragon. I know she's... She's not feeling well. She tested herself. She's she's COVIDy today, so she got the line. How do I give power to people? Power to people. Oh, good. Now my. All right, there we go. Creator dust. Watch. This is the thing. I am so bad with this shit. I gotta figure out. Moderation. I just want to give someone mods. Hey, man. You're great people. I almost wish you were still in Canada. It'd be nice to run into you once in a while. But all right, I can't figure out I'm out. Anyways, if some Canadian says something, you follow some Canadian today. So give me about five minutes here, guys. I'll get uh, queued up, and then I am going to get going with uh, Gears of War for a little bit. But let me go grab a drink, freshen up uh, my coffee, let the dogs out. Uh, yeah, five minutes, we'll be back. I'll leave you with the stylings of Jock Jams to Stadium Anthems by Power Music Workout. Nothing but quality on this channel. But I shall return.
right, we are getting set up here for Gears of War. Lady Dragon is vertical. How you feeling, baby? Oh, that's all good. Turn down the music a little bit, but we are definitely doing this with music in the background. All right. I think we're ready to go. And again, thanks everybody for tuning in. I guess I should probably change half my tags and shit here. I am so bad at stream management. I got. Manage my stream. All right, so boss fight, let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely, I was really pumped with, uh, hang on, let's take that off here, take that off, yeah, all that's good, all right, save the world, all right, I think I got all my tags where I need them to be, all right, thanks again everybody for tuning in, Steph Dad, big shout out again for the raid earlier, All right, so everybody's ready. Let's go do this. So if you weren't following what I ha what happened yesterday, I'm on a train. I'm trying to beat this fucking general, but he's got all the swirly birds around him that protect him. So I've got to get the birds to disperse and just shoot him straight up in the head like a million times. But it can be done. The people online, and the worst part is when you watch a walkthrough and these assholes get this shit done in like two minutes, but I wasted like at least an hour yesterday. Just doing this wrong. So today, I kind of have the idea. It's probably still going to be a little tricky. I know a lot of people were saying that he's easy as far as final bosses go. But I am just down to fucking kill this dude. So we will get going here right away with Gears of War Ultimate Edition. And then uh, hopefully we will get on with Gears 2 right after. Because I was very, very impressed with this game. Hang on. we gotta pick. We got to pick some good battle music. Hang on. Oh. I, I think it's time. I think we got what we're looking for. I think we got what we're looking for. Let's go. I don't even know if I should bother, <coughs> bother with the rifle. <coughs> okay, the frag grenades are going to be important. <coughs> as many fucking bullets as I can hold. <coughs> Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Dragon. I know that's how I felt last week. <laughs> Reavers! 
Okay, so my game plan is to get all of these motherfuckers away from them. And then I gotta do it again really quick. It's not good if I don't hit him. Fuck, I keep shooting way too high. Shit. Okay. So now I gotta run. That's kind of the idea. I just have to keep shooting the fuck out of them. Which I should have been throwing grenades is what I should have been doing too. Alright, so... Run, 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 run. Run, run, you're not running, you're stopping. Oh, that was just a fucking miss. Oh good, I'm out of bullets. Oh, that's awesome. One fucking grenade left. Come on! Oh good, I'm running next to the reef. Fuck! Son of a bitch. Oh, I've never gotten this far, to be honest. Dude, I never thought I'd get this far, but I've only ever played the first Gears game and got about halfway through that. I enjoyed it, but I was at the time of COD and NHL. We're making massive strides. That's fair. 
to get a chance. <clears throat> you know what, dude? And that was the thing. I never really got that chance either to appreciate these games when they first came out either. But fuck, man. Like, this game was made in, what, like the early, late 2000s, early 2010s? And it still holds. Like, it is just phenomenal. Like, it'd be nicer if I could beat this guy. But that's, I got to figure out a better way to do it. But it's probably, I know one of the guys was saying it's a lot easier with a co-op when you have someone that isn't uh, dying every 30 seconds like my, my good friend here. Let's do this. Alright, let's fucking do this. Okay, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. It's gotta be. Like, it's been there for a while already. Because what are they on, like, the fifth or sixth one? <laughs> like, I feel that. I just, every, every time I play these games, I just feel like I'm so behind just on the gaming world. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> Let's make sure we are. It'd be nice if I can hold more Let's grenades, but. but. Too far, too far, too far. Rough. We got this, we got this.
Oh, shit. Fuck, move! Oh, wait a minute. Fuck, is that a Gatling gun? Fuck. Okay, if I can get to that gun, I could probably take him out. The problem is you gotta get the, uh, I might have to use the long shot rifle. Like, I gotta get those birds away, or the, uh, bats away from them. But maybe I'll try it, you know, what's the fucking harm if I switch it up anyways. Fuck. Let's try this system out. Let's do this. Fuck, it's just so slow. I'm so bad with this. Fuck! Can't keep missing those shots. Fuck off for a minute, would you? No, not that way, not that way. Ah. When the birds come flying towards you, can't. Fuck, Dan. Um. 
Fuck you! Oh. I can't do this calmly. I can't. I have to go all in. I'm gonna get him. Fuck this guy. It's gonna take forever, but I'll get him. Oh. Like I'm so close. It's like I said, the guys that were doing this on the walk, they were like, this is bullshit, it's so easy. fucking monitors again here. Hang on. Alright, so we're gonna try to do this slower. Canadian has got the right idea there. I gotta wait till the birds go and then I can start fucking throwing my grenades, but I am just so damn impatient. That is just how I live my life. Okay, I think I got everything I need to get here. Alright, so let's make sure we're fucking locked up. I only got 12. I should have 12. First Dom is already dead. Shit, go, 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 go. Get the fuck up, get the fuck up. I got one left. Fuck! Ah. Hey, appreciate you, TF. Thank you for coming in. So we got everything I need. I got 12. 
Be nice if I can just swap this out for the fucking long shot. What the fuck are you waiting for? Fuck! Oh, please tell me I've at least got one left. Nope. Go! Run! 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 Why are you stopping? Run, 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 fuck! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Fuck. Oh, rough. Die! 
Got him. Let's go. Oh, I did my part, bro. This is, the rest is up to you. Here we go. Let's fucking go. That's a problem. You guys didn't even try to get me. Is that thing just gonna explode now? Oh, fuck. Let's go. Got you. Don't you worry. Great fucking game. If you haven't played Gears of War, I heavily recommend playing it. Oh, great fucking game. <clears throat> I guess we'll go through the credits here. I'll have to download the second one now. Has anyone played the second one? I don't. I, I think there's five in the uh, in the whole thing right now. But I know I've got the ultimate edition. I don't think that gives me the second one. Woo! We got through it though. Really good game. It didn't take me 60 hours, which was nice. It took a while, but. So, we did her. Alright, so what did we get? 
Didn't get all of our tags, but we got some comics. Very good game. Really happy with it. But it is that time of day. Fuck, I gotta find the other one now. I gotta get the other one downloaded. Hydrate you bastard! I got you, I got you. I gotta eat though, too. That's gonna be next on the list. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Lady Dragon. But hopefully you pull through soon. I know we've been sick here for the last week or so. Lady Dragon's son cleared us out. But hopefully, I know we both tested positive, but yeah, we'll hopefully get through it. Definitely not feeling, well, I'm not anyways as bad today as I have the whole week. I know Lady Dragon. Yeah, I know this is the worst you've been for sure. We were pretty fine yesterday, but today, yeah, I, but you, as soon as you sent me that picture at 5.30 in the morning, I know it was over. But uh, hopefully you'll be on the mend here soon enough. Yeah, well, when I wake up to see a positive COVID test picture, I know it's... Uh, I, I know there's the day. But luckily all we had to do today was sit down, watch football, play some video games... Trying to see if I gotta get everything downloaded for Gears 2. Oh, Corgi Morgie's outside. Just trying to. Deal with Xbox Game Pass. It just drives me a little nuts. All right, so that one's there. We can get Gears Two on deck. Hopefully. Is it seriously not going to have two? I would be so upset. If you don't have Gears 2, I am going to be utterly upset. Wait, is Gears Tactic Gears 2? Hang on. i got to figure this out. Don't, why are you feeling bad? Don't, don't fucking worry, Canadian. It's all right. So you don't message me earlier this morning. I didn't see it till about 9.30, but not that big of a deal. It was a good show. We'll be back for next week. Oh. She's quiet. He's actually, <laughs> the Corgi, it's, it's pretty easy to tell. Yeah, it's, he's eating something. Hold on. So let's see Gears of War here. Years of War 2. Yeah, it's fucking like 287 on eBay, but yeah, I gotta... Why would you not have the second one? Disappointing, disappointing. 
I thought that all three of them were all of them were a part of this one, but no, that is definitely disappointing. What do we do in Xbox Game Pass? So which one's Gears Tactics then? Is that just something completely different? Oh, that's turn-based. Fuck, I was looking forward to playing the next one. I might have to wait until Game Pass brings it out. Not that there isn't a shortage of other shit to play. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> yeah, definitely disappointing though. So they got Gears 4, they got Gears 5. it up on my phone it says it's there bullshit I have to figure it out but maybe we just skip right ahead to gears 4 <laughs> what else do we got I know everybody keeps telling me fuck I'm almost tempted to play Halo again I've really thought about it Maybe I will play the Master. At least I know they've got all the Halo games. Yeah, not to eat the key. That's, that's actually one of our biggest problems is uh, Visage. What's Visage? Hang on here. I'll pull it up. Oh, that looks spooky. Fuck. <laughs> I'm I'm what you would call a Canadian chicken shit, some Canadian brown dude. Is it free on your Game Pass? These motherfuckers want me to pay 40 bucks. I don't know. The other one I've been looking at was Plague Tale Requiem. That one's supposed to be horrifying. Or at least kind of spooky. But, uh... Canadian... You didn't need to do that. I appreciate you, though. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Oh, and all those people are wonderful people. Solitar, been with us since the beginning. Dark Wakapi, ah, oh, Alchemist, Buddha, Noble. Let's go, Canadian. Thank you so much, pal. Really, really appreciate it. But we'll go. We'll have to figure something out, but I should have something to eat. I might just stay on here. I know I want to watch these football games here, but there's nothing overly pressing this morning. Some Canadian, you are just the fucking beauty, pal. I appreciate the fuck out of you. Can't can't spam your name enough. Fuck. I'm just fucking. I'm just vibing to the tunes now. Actually, I guess we got party time. Oh, my camera doesn't work on party time. We'll go with this. Yeah, fuck. I, 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 just, I still can't see the bear's cover. I still can't. I think you're going to knock it with your 27-0. Hey, no. Really, 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 really appreciate it. Fuck, now I just want to download something else and keep playing. I just might need to go smoke a joint here. Xbox Game Pass, what are you doing to me? So you got through... The Walking Dead was really good. I don't think we're going to find... Hmm. You know what? I might have to go Halo. If there's another game... That was one game that I did play and that I did love was the original Halo. So... Are you serious? Fuck. I wanted to play Halo, but I might have to go watch football and cry a little bit. Aaron Jones has a touchdown, though it is 7-0 for the Green Bay Packers. 
I can't shit the bed in fantasy football this week. Uh, Cleveland is beating the Ravens 7-3. It is still early, people. Let's not overreact just yet. Visage, fuck. You're going to sell me on this. But I got to clear some shit out. We got to get, yeah, I've got a lot of, I still have Ninja Turtles on here. By the way, the Cowabunga collection is supposed to be coming out soon. I can't wait for that. But yeah, I think I'm going to have lunch. Smoke a joint. We'll be back on. Our house is a little haunted. It gets a little spooky for Danny. Probably does, but our house is, is haunted. It's a little bit. Luckily, it's a friendly Canadian ghost. It doesn't seem to like... It's not out for blood. But uh, I woke up today and the cat door was open. So I was wondering if Lady Dragon had opened up the door of the cat. Uh, fuck. Is it that good? Is it that good, Canadian? I don't like spending money on video games, but I will. Ladies, actually, Lady's got a new game queued up. Lady's got a new game queued up, so when she's back on, I'll let her announce it when she wants to. But uh, I'm going to go. It's free on Game Pass. It keeps telling me it's not free, though. If it was free, I'd be downloading already here, pal. Hang on. Yeah, I've got Game Pass. Is all I play on, usually. Hang on. Maybe for whatever reason, i got to reload mine. Going down, going down, what do we got here? TUV. I'm in Tom Clancy's, we got Trex. Yeah, it's not popping up free for me, pal. Oh, here, let me restart Xbox, or my Game Pass. I should be watching for pulp. <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna check it out. Yeah, it told me it was as if, yeah, if it was free, I'd be downloading it already. I wouldn't mind a spooky game. Visage. Muscle. Yeah, it tells me that I have to buy it in Canadian currency. But it could definitely, no, it's, yeah, I don't know why, it's, I've had that a couple times though, someone told me, so I'm wondering if, uh, on the Canadian side here we get, it's kind of like our Netflix, we just get a instinct, I'll look at that one. Instinct. Ooh, killer instinct. Yeah, Killer Instinct. Well, and that's what drives me nuts with Netflix. Granted, we get some of the good shows, but yeah, we could uh, we could definitely use something else. But I think I think I'm gonna have to bite the book. I'm gonna have to get back into Halo. I think that's the way to go. We will be playing. We will find a scary game here on Game Pass. I gotta go through them. I don't know if anybody's played any of these Amnesia games. Scorn is supposed to be pretty fucking creepy. But we'll figure something else out. I am going to grab a bite to eat, hang out, smoke a joint, get some games on. But we will likely be back a little later. Uh, but I wanted to thank everybody for coming in uh, to our newest mod, Some Canadian Brown. Dude, thank you so much for being here today, pal, and helping us out. I definitely got you those uh, that mod... Uh, uh, the, uh, <laughs> you're a mod here now. That's what I meant to say. Um, so let's go over to Twitch and see who we got on. See who we can show some love to so that I can get on with foods. You know what? Let's go pay Roy Boy. A visit here. Roy Boy is playing Dead by Daylight. He is a great supporter here. Great guy. Roy Boy. Alright. Alright, and again, thanks everybody for tuning in, hanging out, and spending some time with us here at Angry Corgi Productions. Myself, Lady Dragon, love you guys so much. 
Very much appreciated. Roy Boys, just on a quick break here, let's show him some love. He is playing Dead by Daylight. Like I said, super good dude, super good vibe. Let's show Roy some love. <laughs> 